Ron DeSantis has kind of had a string of L's recently. Um, one of the things that I think is hurting him is that Trump is hitting him over and over and over on the fact that he wants to cut Social Security. Um, and Trump says, I don't want to cut Social Security. That's a very politically potent attack. It just is. Trump's also been unleashing on a daily basis uh, on Ron DeSantis, on Truth Social. Some of the arguments, I think, are kind of weak, but a lot of them are strong. Like I just said, the Social Security one is pretty strong. And um, Trump did that visit to East Palestine the other day where we had the train derailment and chemical fire. And, I mean, that's just good politics. I mean, on the one hand, it's, like, obnoxious and shameless because Trump helped aid with the deregulation that led to the crash in the first place. So he's totally shameless, right? He's there and he's partly responsible for this crash. But on the other hand, it's like, people don't know that. And the media, there was a great report that came out. Only 30% of media coverage of that train derailment mentioned that the deregulation helped lead to it, led by Trump, right? So pe people don't know that. So he's there. It looks like he cares. He's giving them water. He's buying a McDonald's. And, um, you know, DeSantis is hanging in there poll numbers wise, but he is slipping just a little bit. And Trump is going up just a little bit. Now, the other day, low energy Jeb endorsed Ron DeSantis. Oh, God. That doesn't help. Jeb, go away. <laughs> like, nobody wants to hear from you. Go beg people to clap for you again. Like, it's just, it's, it's over. It's dead. It's gone. It's not going to help if John Kasich endorses um, uh, Jeb Bush. Ron DeSantis, sorry, my brain stopped working. It's not going to help if little Marco Rubio endorses Ron DeSantis. And so just a string of like, eh, he's on some wobbly legs at the moment. So um, Brian Kilmeade, who has been also trying to kind of subtly push DeSantis in recent days, just like other Fox News hosts, he goes into this Florida diner at 6.30 in the morning. By the way, the fact that there are this many people in this diner at 6.30 in the morning is terrifying to me. Like, what are you all doing awake, bro? These are all old retirees. All they do is, like, play golf and sip margaritas and watch Fox News all day. And uh, Brian Kilmeade here is going to be fishing for a DeSantis supporter. And, man, it doesn't go too well. Watch this. Hi, Lawrence. First off, Metro Dining here. I got a question for you. Ready? All right. 2024. Who's pumped up for the election? All right. Rap, rapid fire. Who's your man? Who's your woman? My man, Donald Trump. Donald Trump. Donald Trump. Christy, no. Christy, no. Who's your man? Trump. Or a woman? Trump. Trump. A lot of Trump fans. Trump and Nikki Haley. And Nikki Haley. Donald Trump and Nikki Haley. All right. So far, a lot of Donald Trump. I see... I see... Uh, Governor DeSantis, yes. what about President DeSantis? I like it. I like uh, it. Who's your pick? Oh, gosh, I don't know. Trump or DeSantis? I'm either or. Right, I'm so either. You're right in the middle. Yes, I am. What you pumped up for? I am super pumped. I feel like we need a little bit of a break from election to election. It goes from one. This is Florida. This is his stomping ground. Even the person who was wearing a DeSantis shirt, when pressed, she goes, Trump or DeSantis? So she said Trump first. Oh, man. Oh, this is so sad. Oh, look, Fox News helped create this monster, and now they lost control of it. It's Frank and Trump. We just talked about this in the last segment. There was an amazing opportunity right after January 6th. Trump's approval rating dropped to 30%. He was donezo. All you needed was to stick the knife in, twist it, and then walk away and never talk about him again. And it would have worked. Stick the knife in, twist it, and then total indifference. He did, Trump? Trump? I don't know my name. Trump? Who's Trump? What are you talking Trump? What does that even mean, Trump? He would have been gone. He would have been done. Same thing right after the midterm losses. His approval dropped to 30% again. He can't shut up about the 2020 election being stolen. All of his candidates got absolutely draxed. He's on truth social saying terminate the Constitution and stuff like that. All you had to do... Stick the knife in, twist it, all the Fox hosts get on the same page, do a similar segment. Here's why the, you know, the, the rigged election stuff is totally bogus lies. You might lose a, some viewers, right? But you'll gain them back. Just don't talk about Trump ever again after that. Pump up your boy DeSantis. Total indifference towards Trump. He doesn't even exist. Who's Trump? They had moments to stick the knife in and twist it. They didn't do it. And now this is the result. And so now when Trump goes to East Palestine and when he talks about how, you know, they want to cut your Social Security, I want to save it. Uh, he's back, bro.
He's back. He's back. It feels a lot more like 2016 right now. I didn't think he had it in him to finally be like, all right, I'm going to shut up about the 2020 election. But apparently he does, because he hasn't said anything about it for a while now. And so they helped create this monster, because the whole time they were either going along with his narrative or they were playing footsie with his narrative. They want to leave the door open. Hey, what if he becomes becomes the you know the big guy again and you know we want to make sure we don't uh, isolate the audience and alienate the audi- alienate the audience and it's like for the love of god stop being audience captured stop being narrative humpers grow a spine grow some balls and now look at the situation that we're in some polls have trump just over 50% which is a lot that's very high um some polls have him more like 40ish percent but that's still a lot if there's as many Republicans who are going to run as it looks like there will be, then Trump could win with 30%. So, um, they're in quite a pickle, man. They're in quite a pickle, these other Republicans. And Fox has, in recent days, they've leaned in more now to supporting DeSantis. Um, but they still have the door open to Trump, and they didn't uh, take him down at his weakest point. And here we are. Here we are. This dude has nine lives, dog. This dude has nine lives. It truly is astonishing. Imagine fishing for a DeSantis supporter this hard. And now, Nikki Haley was mentioned more times there than Ron DeSantis. Now, to be fair, I think those people were saying they want Trump and Nikki Haley as VP. I think that's what they meant. I could be wrong. Um, but embarrassing. Because you know damn well they went to a diner in Florida in a conservative area hoping to get nothing but Ron DeSantis answers there to help build that narrative. Well, a little too late that you're going with this line. Anyway, we'll see what happens. Trump could still self-destruct because he's Donald Trump. You never know. But the signs for him at the moment are honestly looking pretty good. If you want to see me and Crystal Ball interview legends like Noam Chomsky, Cornell West, and more, subscribe to Crystal Kyle and Friends on Substack. $5 a month gets you the video version a day early. Remember, we take zero ad dollars for this podcast. Or you can sign up on Substack for free and get the audio version a day later. Link in the video description box below.